Hello, I'm Michael Peters from the Church Council Communications Committee. And I'm Shelley Davies, the Director of Education and Outreach here at St. Luke. Our committee would like to recap the good works of St. Luke over the last year, and education and outreach is a great place to start. Shelley, last February on Super Bowl Sunday, $592 was raised for the Super Bowl of giving. Where did that money go? That money went to local food banks in our area. Um, throughout the summer, we were also able to donate again to the local food banks through SCAP in downtown Chambersburg and St. Paul in Fayetteville. We collected overflow vegetables from your gardens and we were also able to collect canned goods and cash um, during the VBS with our children throughout the year, throughout the summer. That, that's excellent. Uh, that's great, Shelley. And just a reminder that the 2023 Super Bowl of Caring is on Sunday, February 12th, so start gathering those nickels, dimes, and quarters. And don't forget to wear your favorite sports jersey to worship that Sunday. Mm -hmm. Shelley, during the first Lutheran Spring Fling, six carloads of clothing and bedding were donated. Can you tell us more about that project? Sure. Um, during the year, we work with First Lutheran down in Chambersburg, as well as a few other churches, to provide bedding and clothing uh, to those in need. We have the first Lutheran Spring Fling in the spring, the back to school event in August, and the mega event in November providing winter clothing. That's, that's awesome, that's terrific. Yeah. Later on in the spring, St. Luke teamed with St. Paul to create personal care packs for Fruit Belt Farm Workers Christian Ministry. I, I know you have a pretty good story with this project. How many packs were donated by our combined congregations? Yeah, well, that was our God's Work, Our Hands project this year. And um, when Christian from Fruit Belt Farm Workers Christian Ministry showed up, he told me that they had just arrived with um, some new migrant workers, and they were now at 110 people. And he looked at me and said, how many, how many packs do you have? And my answer, 112. So God knows our needs. Yes, he does. Another project was the Lutheran World Relief Pentecost Project. St. Luke donated $470, as well as 51 personal care packs for Lutheran World Relief. Shelley, another Pentecost project was the Kandete Swing Project in Tanzania. Can you recap that one for us? Sure, the Kandete Parish in Tanzania is our sister congregation. And one of the needs that they brought up to us was developing a, um, a kind of community outreach for the mm -hmm. kids in the area. Um, in Africa, one of the biggest things you can have is some play equipment and um, sports equipment for the kids. So we exceeded our, bu our um, budget for this and we were able to not only buy them swings, but able to hopefully purchase some sports equipment and balls and such. And that will bring in the kids to the church, which will eventually bring in the adults and help them with their growth. And as you can see from that project, your donations have literally reached around the world. Lutheran Disaster Response had a busy year. Hurricane Ian, as you know, decimated South Florida, while severe flooding hit several other states. From drought in Africa to assisting Ukraine, Lutheran Relief was there. St. Luke gave $14,000 to Lutheran Disaster Relief to help those affected by these and other catastrophes. Also, St. Luke gave $10,000 to World Hunger in 2022. Shelley, one of the missions of St. Luke and the Outreach Committee is to help the homeless. Can you highlight the 2022 projects that brought hope to those in need? Well, we've already mentioned two with the first Lutheran Outreach and the food banks. Um, but the other uh, missions that we do is we have the Homeless Connection Project, which is all of the Lutheran churches within Franklin County work together to um, collect furniture and household items. Mm -hmm. Then when someone moves out of the homeless shelter into a home, we're able to provide them with the basics they need to get their household started. That's excellent. Power packs was a term we heard a lot at St. Luke this year, but some, including me, weren't really sure what it meant. Can you shed some light on the power packs and who they helped locally? Sure, power packs are weekend meals provided for children who are food insecure. Um, at St. Luke, we, we partner with Mount Pleasant up on the corner and we alternate months. 
and we provide weekend packs for children for at Fayetteville Elementary, Scotland Elementary, and Guilford Hills Elementary. Um, between those three schools, we provide over 100 packs weekly. Uh, they include two breakfasts, two lunch, snacks, and some fruit and some drinks. And we are able to give those every week to the students. Um, if you're interested in learning more, we have a special guest speaker coming on February 12th for Adult Faith Formation, and it is the counselor from Scotland Elementary, and she'll be sharing more about how these power packs actually impact the children. As a former Scotland Elementary student myself, I know um, sometimes as a student, you don't think about the other kids who may be food insecure, mm -hmm. and that's a great program to provide that consistency uh, for those kids. Uh, the Power Packs really did help a lot of kids who experience food insecurity, but another project that helps the food insecure in Chambersburg is the St. Seraphim Soup Kitchen. With your food donations and cash donations, we help keep this program going strong throughout the year. Shelly, one project that was done this year that had an interesting name, the Luther Ridge Birds and Bees Project. So can you give us some more info about the birds and the bees? Yes, so the Birds and Bees project is a project up at Luther Ridge. Um, during the height of COVID, one of our congregation members noticed that in the back of Luther Ridge where um, some of the residents sit outside and are able to enjoy nature a little bit, there wasn't much nature there. Um, there were some trees, but that was about it. So we were able to install some bird feeders and bird baths as well as some flowers to try to attract some bees and some wildlife into that area. And from what I understand, the birds have stopped by. Yes. That, that's, yes. That's, that's excellent. Yeah. Um, throughout 2022, St. Luke helped both the youth of our congregation and the local area through Advent packs delivered to 20 children at St. Luke, college cram packs for eight students in our congregation, the Alive Middle School Retreat, All Saints Confirmation Camp, the annual Easter egg hunt, vacation Bible school, schools out for summer drive through and a Christmas party. Check out these pictures from those fun and rewarding events throughout the year. That was a nice little walk down memory lane right there. Well, Shelly, that was quite a review of the good works done in St. Luke in 2022. Is there, is there anything we might have missed? Well, I know one big thing that we've started this year is our Stephen Ministry Program. Um, you all know that Pastor Fry, Cheryl Vorhauer, and Carol Engstad have all been trained as Stephen leaders, and they were commissioned just a few weeks ago, actually. Um, that program will be starting up full force in 2023, and will be available to help support those who might need a, a little extra support during some portion of their life. Another project that I can think about that we didn't mention was Property Committee has been super busy this year with, with several projects, um, but two that I can think of that stick out are the new sidewalk that is on our 997 side of the sanctuary. If you haven't seen it, go out and check it out. It leads from the door over to the Memorial Garden. And the second project is um, the new sign out front. I'm sure everybody's seen that. Um, we changed it from the digital sign to a static sign, but it welcomes everyone into the church and lets them know that they are welcome here at St. Luke. And I know at the council meetings, there was a lot of discussion about what to do with the sign and the new sign looks, looks great. So well done property committee. The Communications Committee made this video to inform the congregation of all the good that came from your donations and participation in St. Luke during 2022. But this video was not an exhaustive list. There was actually much more that took place. And we hope the new year is even better. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching and peace, peace be, be with, with you. you.